Welcome to Zazine TV's how-to video tutorial series. In this video, you will need a modem slash wireless router, which may come in two different models, an ethernet cable and a telephone wire. First, connect your telephone wire from your DSL supported phone jack to your modem. Next, disable the wireless network connection on your computer by right-clicking the network connections icon and clicking on Open Network and Sharing Center. Click on Change Adapter Settings and right-click on Wireless Network Connections. Click Disable. Right-click on Local Area Connection and make sure that it is enabled. Click on Local Area Connection again and click on Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click Properties. Make sure Obtain IP Address Automatically and Obtain DNS Server Address Automatically have been selected and then click on OK. Now connect your Ethernet cable from your modem to your computer. Open your preferred web browser and in the address line, type in the modem web page, 192.168.1.1, and then hit enter. Click on Manage Gateway and enter your username and password, both of which are admin. In the new screen, click on Management, Settings, Restore Default, Restore Default Settings button, and click OK. Once you receive confirmation that the broadband router configuration has been restored, close your web browser. Disconnect your Ethernet cable from your computer to the modem and ensure the DSL light on your modem is on solid. Note, it may flash at first. Your modem has now been reset. Connect your Ethernet cable from the modem to your computer and open your preferred web browser. In the address line, type in the modem webpage, 192.168.1.1, and then hit enter. Click on Manage Gateway and enter your username and password, both of which are admin. Once the management page opens, click on Advanced Setup. Click on WAN Service and click the Edit button of Interface PPP1.1. Enter your PPP username and PPP password found in the welcome letter shipped with your modem. Scroll down and ensure that Enable Firewall and Enable NAT are checked. Then click the Next button. Click Next again and again, and finally apply slash save. From the left column menu, click wireless and then basic. On this page, you can change the wireless network name by changing the SSID. Once finished, click apply slash save. Next, click wireless and then security. Uncheck use base MAC address as WPA passphrase and delete all the dots in the WPA passphrase. Here, you can enter your own password, which should be at least eight characters long and have a mix of letters and numbers to protect your home wireless network. When finished, click Apply slash Save. Close your web browser and then reopen it to check that the internet is now working.
To enable your wireless connection, right-click on your network connections icon and click on Open Network and Sharing Center. Click on Adapter Settings, right-click on Local Area Connection, and click Disable. Right-click on Wireless Network Connection and click Enable. Note, at this point, you can disconnect your Ethernet cable. Next, click on the Network Connections icon, select your Wireless Connection SSID, and enter the password you created earlier. Once your wireless network connection has been connected, close the window and open your preferred web browser to make sure your internet is working.